Ramadan, the month of Ramadan is almost here. We've waited a long, we've waited a while for the month of mercy, for the month of mercy, for the month of mercy, Ramadan, the month of mercy. Ramadan lesson number one, Taqwa or faith. Why do we fast in the month of Ramadan? One of the main reasons is to increase our obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes we forget our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during our happy times and our bad time. Ramadan helps us to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more. During the month of Ramadan, it helps us to avoid all of the bad things that Allah doesn't like. So that means that we have the opportunity to do all the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to do. That's why, to increase our taqwa, or faith, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us to fast in this month. If you see the second part of our Prophet Musa peace be upon him story, you will see that after a long journey of trying to escape from the Pharaoh, Prophet Musa and his people arrived on the east side of Mount Sinai. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Musa peace be upon him to go to that same place where he talked to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the first time. At that place, he had to stay and fast for 30 days. After the 30 days of fasting and praying, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him to do 10 more days to continue his prayer and fasting. In total, he spent 40 days for fasting and praying to increase his taqwa. Then, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Prophet Musa, peace be upon him, some parts of the Holy Torah, which were the famous Ten Commandments. Just like Musa, peace be upon him, spent 40 days to increase his faith, we do the same thing during the month of Ramadan in order to increase our taqwa. That's why we shouldn't let our Ramadan go to waste by playing games or sleeping around all day because every moment of Ramadan is valuable. Some ways that we can increase our taqwa is by spending our time reading the Quran, memorizing some surahs, or memorizing some important duas from the Quran. You can actually find lots of very important Quranic du'a along with their background information from our channel. If you want to memorize some verses from the Quran, don't wait for tomorrow. Start today to memorize something from the Quran. Also, we can read some Islamic books to get more knowledge about Islam. Along with memorizing, in order to increase our taqwa, we can also go to the mosque for our prayers. That way, we can get 27 more rewards than praying at home. But when we go to the masjid during the month of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give us even more rewards than that. But let's say that we cannot go to the masjid. So, what do we do then? If we can't go, we should pray at home as a group with our parents, our brothers and sisters, or with our friends. Another thing that we should do during Ramadan is donate money every day with whatever we have, even if it's a small amount. If you want to increase your money, then the only way to do that is by donating your money for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By that way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase your money and return it to you in some sort of way, inshallah. When you're donating your money, it is important to remember that any donations that you give are like the water for hellfire. Another important way that we can increase our taqwa is to respect our parents at all times by listening to our parents and helping them out 
during Ramadan. We should always listen to our parents and you can help them during Ramadan in many ways. Finally, if we do the good jobs during Ramadan, inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase our taqwa. For more information, you can look up Surah Muhammad verse 17, Al-Fat verse 4, Al-Nisa verse 103, Al-Ankabut verse 45, Al-Sa'ad verse 29, and Taha verse 114. The month of mercy. Have you ever wanted to make a big difference to help children all over the world? Well, what if we told you that you can make that difference happen right now with our Ramadan fundraiser 2018? We provide everything we create for free and are committed to keeping it that way for millions of Muslims and non-Muslims all over the world. 100% of our operations are crowdfunded from our generous audience. We want to continue our Dawah mission, and we can do so with your help. All donations are tax deductible, and Sadaqah is Zaria, which continues to benefit you when you pass away from this world. As Ramadan is the best rewarding month of the year, please join our Ramadan fundraiser 2018. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your generosity and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter.